Matt Ree, and he was running the No campaign for the referendum. So what made you decide to run this campaign? I think it was really important for the um, referendum that we had both a yes and a uh, no side going forward, and students really needed to know both sides of the argument before they decided. You can't just have something as important as a $27 million renovation be decided with only people like having knowledge of one side. What did you find was the most effective way to let people know about the no referendum? Word of mouth is always going to be the most effective way. People talking to each other, their friends, and just making sure that people are aware of the issues involved with it. Then they will go and tell their friends and it will spread from there. We also did a lot of Facebook ads and different posters. I talked to a lot of different councils, but I couldn't get to all of them. Um, but it was definitely word of mouth was the most effective. So we can find out the results tonight. Uh, what are you, how are you feeling? Do you think it's going to be a no or what do you think? I don't like to speculate um, and not that that's a cop out, but you know, it, it was up to the students and whatever they decide, I know both the yes and the no campaign will stand behind the decisions of the student population as a whole. So your campaign is a little bit different from the presidential campaigns and everyone else running. What are you going to do if, if it's a no tonight? Are you going to go out and celebrate? I've already started celebrating, so <laughs> uh, continue on probably, yeah. Great. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, for the referendum on the UCC renovations. Okay, students voted, and the outcome is no. The, refer the, uh, the referendum did not pass. Okay, so Rachel, what does this mean? Well, uh, I mean, this is in the hands of students. It's a referendum, it goes to students, they decide, they decided no. So moving forward, we have gained all this space and uh, we will now put a solid plan into place. We obviously have limited resources now, not being able to uh, fund it with student fees, but we'll be able to do whatever we can and uh, we'll make that, that space usable for students and we'll do the best that we can so that students can make the most of their space. Okay, and Will, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I was, I was involved in this one. I was uh, a bit of part of the Yes campaign and yep. representing Envira Western, which had a sort of stake in the renovations of course. Too, for, uh, for improved resources in the UCC. So it's uh, a tough blow, but uh, certainly moving forward, it's going to be a challenge. Um, we've got a lot of space in that gym um, that uh, is tough to use, so we're going to need to figure out what to do with them. That's really going to be the challenge moving forward. Um, and the UCC is still an old building, so we're going to need to do something. Um, and it's, it's just going to be a challenge moving forward to figure out what that is. But uh, students voted, and they didn't think the $95 was worth it. And that's, uh, that's their choice to make, so definitely fair, and we'll have to do better. Okay. All right, Western, it's Serene here, and it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The big day is here, and uh, the votes have been tallied. So uh, let's find out who the new 2009 USC president is. Drum roll, please, Jay Ferg. Thanks. Take a look. And now, of course, I'm going to invite Nick up for the big announcement. Come on up, Nick. And the 2009-2010 president is Emily Rowe. This is our excitement dance, right? Okay. How does it feel? How are you feeling right now? We need we need to give you a microphone. Here we go. Words can't even describe how I feel right now. Are you crying? I think you're crying a little bit. No. No, no you're not. Out of excitement. So, how does it feel? Oh my gosh, I can't even breathe. And who do you want, take this opportunity to thank who you want to thank? I want to thank Dan Moulton, I want to thank Pat Duncan, I want to thank Ashley Rowe, I want to thank Andrea, Chelsea, I want to thank everyone, everyone has been unbelievable, like I, I can't even thank everyone, it's, it's amazing. Emily, what does this mean for Western? <sighs> this means a lot for Western, this is gonna, it's gonna be a good year next year. That's for sure. Okay, so that's a wrap, huh? Congratulations to Emily Rowe. Woo! Our new USC president for 2009-2010. Also, a special thanks and congrats goes out to all the candidates who run. It's a big deal, right? It is a very big deal. Yeah, good for trying. You had to make it a competition. Yeah. Anyways, for TV Western, I'm Surain. This is Jay Ferg. Check us out on the web at tvwestern.ca. Again, congratulations, Emily Rowe. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>